Well, hey everyone, this is Don Smith. And today I wanted to just do a quick video for you on uh, sort of a follow-up on my infrared video that I did recently and where I showed you that if you're new to infrared and you have an infrared converted camera, for example, I converted one of my old Sony's uh, A6000 using Life Pixels and I use Supercolor IR. And when you get this back, this converted camera, if you just set it to auto white balance and you go out and shoot everything in raw mode, which I recommend you do for infrared, um, you're going to see up here, you're just going to have a really, really red file. So in the other video, I told you if you just Googled Adobe Digital Negative, uh, the DNG, you would come to this page that would allow you to download right here, the DNG Profile Editor, and I would click Mac. I'm on Mac, but if you're a Windows person, you'd click Windows, and I'm not going to go through the procedure again of downloading it. It's pretty simple, but I do want to point out something to you. If you download it, uh, I just took it off and I re-downloaded it prior to doing this video, and I realized that uh, I couldn't open it, then you're going to have to come into your systems preferences. This is in Mac now and double click. And then you're going to have to unclick this and put in your password. And down here is going to be a little checkbox that you can put in for opening up that file, that DNG file. And that's the way around that. Uh, I think most of you know how to do that. But if some of you got a little frustrated, uh, you may not know. Now, the next thing I want to show you, so where does this profile go once we create it? Well, let's minimize this. And I actually have the DNG profiler up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up. I You have to first go into Lightroom. Let's go back to Lightroom. I showed you this in the other video, but this will be a repeat. You would come up to File and you would come down here to export export with a preset excuse me and you would just say export to dng and when you do that i just chose the desktop to put it on you can put it wherever you want and it'll export this out as a digital negative that's step one now let's go over to step two where we actually open the dng uh editor profile and Remember, I came here and opened up DNG image. So there it is on my desktop. I'm going to click open. And what all I want to do here is I'm trying to get a more workable file, a starting point in Lightroom that I can work on my infrared. So I'm just going to pull the color temperature down. It's that simple. That's all you do. You come under color matrix. You don't have to worry about anything else here. You can go to options and you'd give this a name. You should do that. Um, and then you would come here and export this. So you can see it's going to already say Sony IC, ILCE-6000. I just added infrared profile and I actually put today's date that I created it. So that's all you do and it exports. And um, now I'm going to show you that it is actually in there. So, uh, let's come back over to Lightroom. And now, as most of you know, the profiles, usually when you open Lightroom, it's in Adobe Standard. So there's two ways of getting there. You can just hit this or click here and go to Browse. I just think it's faster clicking there. And if you scroll down, you can see where I named my profile, June 2020. And when I click it and hit Close, it is now, you're, I'm working with my infrared profile. Easy as that. Okay, so that's all pretty simple. Where I got a little bit tripped up, and I, here's where I got to thank my good friend, Mike Hall, he's far more techy at this, is I had about four or five of these, maybe even more, six of these infrared profiles created. And I was getting confused as to which one I wanted. So I wanted to actually delete some of the profiles. Well, you'd think that was easy. So next to this profile, I had about five or six more. So you would think you would just come in and maybe right click 
or you would highlight and hit delete. But you, if you do that, it's going to want to delete the whole photo. So you don't want to do that. And then I went on a hunt as to where Lightroom actually places these files. And so finally, Mike came up with the answer. And it's actually pretty simple. If you go under Lightroom Classic here and uh, you come under your preferences, you want to come to the presets, not the general, but you want to come to the presets tab. Down here, it's going to say show Lightroom develop presets. That's what threw me. I saw this, but I'm thinking, well, this was a camera profile, not a preset. And But when you click on this, all of a sudden you're in the camera raw uh, folder and you got these subfolders and voila there is the profile I just created so if you want to if you created some profiles you want to get rid of them highlight that also uh, highlight the index file and just drag them off to your trash and close down Lightroom and when you reopen it it'll it'll be out of there so I had, like I said, five or six I wanted to get rid of, highlighted them all, drug them over to the trash, got rid of them, reopened Lightroom, and there was no pro profile. So now I went back and just created that one. I don't want to delete it, so I'm going to leave it alone. But that is how you can create uh, an infrared camera profile. And if you're like me and created too many of them and you got confused, that's where the delete is. It's, it's a little bit hidden, and I think this is what threw me. But again, I want to thank Mike Hall. He was the one who figured this out far more technical than I am, and it's that simple. So hopefully I've helped some of you uh, with this issue, and uh, you can go in and get rid of some profiles that you don't want. So until next time, everyone, please take care.